This is Minecraft, but we're on millionaire difficulty! Sonny, we gotta fight these evil mobs! Melon, we're millionaires! We just have to hire a bunch of people to do it for us! Oh yes, it sure is splendid having people do everything for you. Mmm, yes, quite, indubitably. And if you goats would please press that subscribe button right now, that would just be magnificent. Come here, buddy! Come here! Sonny! Sonny! He's chasing me! Get ready! I see him! Keep going! Keep going! Explode! Yo! It actually worked! We destroyed that giant ravager! That was awesome, Sonny! Now let's go make sure those villagers are safe! Villagers! Villagers! Are you doing okay? Oh, thank you guys! You're real heroes! Young Timmy can now grow up into to a fine working villager or get into the pillager army. I don't know. Anyway, thanks. You don't have to because we're real heroes and that's what we do. We save the world. Have a good day. Bye. Let's go. We actually crushed that ravager, bro. We are awesome. Yeah, that was pretty cool, Sonny. Top 10 things I've ever done. Uh, who's this guy? Says his name is Deeth. What's up, Deeth? Uh, Melon, I think his name is Death. Nah, bro, let's ask him. Yeah, my name is Death. I come from the netherworld. Uh, what do you want with us, Death? I just want to ask you guys if you wanted to become millionaires. Uh, do I? Sonny, heck yeah, I want to be a millionaire! Me too! How can we become rich? Death, please, I want to be a millionaire! Do it, do it, do it! Awesome. The only thing you need to do is hit that target with a bow and arrow. Melon, that should be easy, and I've had this bow on me the whole time. Uh, Right, Sonny? Snipe that target. <laughs> hey, Death, you never said how far we need to be. <laughs> Sonny, you're so smart. I'm literally cheating, Death. And ding! Bullseye! Did we do it, Death? Yeah, isn't it awesome? Just sign here and it's all good. Okay, seems pretty legit. Totally nothing bad will happen to us. Signed by Big Man Melon. Hey, my turn. I want to be a millionaire, too. And signed by Big Man and Sunny. Hey, Melon, there's 13 pages. What do you think's on them? Eh, probably nothing. Yeah, who cares? Here you are, Death. That's it, guys. Now enjoy. Here's your money. We're rich! I've got a briefcase full of cash! Uh, wait, what's the code? The passcode is 6669. Got a jet. 6669. Open. Melon, we're rich! Let's go! And you can keep this briefcase. We don't need it. Hey, Melon, can I have some of the money. Nah. Uh, nah. Wait, Melon, come back, bro. Fine, bro. You can have half the money. Thank you. Wait, that's not half. That's not half. Sorry, my bad. Here, here. Let, let, me, let me pay you off, bro. There, there you go. Now forget this ever happened. Melon, whatever, bro. As long as we invest the money intelligently and we don't waste it all on something stupid, I'll be happy. You're right, Sonny. No wasting money. Just responsible spending. A few moments later. Later. Check it out, Sonny! I just bought a new Mega Mansion! Let's go! And it only costs us half of our money. Yep, I spent your half on this, Sonny. Isn't it beautiful? Really, bro? <laughs> Whatever. Let's just check it out. Bro, we've got freaking motorcycles. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, bro. I want to race these. But first, house tour! And we're so rich, we could just replace these windows. Oh, yes, of course, Sonny. We'll just pay my cleaner to replace make those. Yo, PlayStation 6, Nintendo Switcher, and an Xbox refrigerator. Oh, this place has everything. Sonny, we even have an indoor pool. Oh, please tell me it's heated. Is it a hot tub in there? Of course it's heated, Sonny. You think I would ever mess with a cold pool? This is so relaxing. It's Sonny, I love this carpeting. All of the rarest sheep were slain for this. Yeah. We could have merely sheared the wool, but then others could get the same wool once the sheep regrows its coat. So instead, we killed them with these very swords. <coughs> it is quite beautiful, but we didn't do it. We paid someone to do it. Oh, of course, we're millionaires. Why would we do any work ourselves? That would be crazy. And Sonny, you know what we should do? We should totally ride those dirt bikes. 
Let's do it! After I absorb this knowledge, yes, intellectual powers are growing. Sonny, rich people don't read. They get poor people to read for them. Oh, yeah, I'll hire some villagers later to do all that reading. My bad. And Sonny, it's time. We do a dirt bike race! Uh, Mel and I sat on the back as well. Whoops, one second. Let's go! Zoom! Hey, this is awesome! Riding around Town. Wait, where are we racing these things? I don't know. I just wanted to drive them around the property. Isn't it cool? Oh, look at my estate. Look at my paths. Look at my mountains. Look at my guest house. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, and the vineyard is just splendid this time of the year. You can see all the dead villagers who've had to work these vines. Oh, yes. These are actually not grapes. They're dead player heads. Check it out. We don't actually have a vineyard. We just farm people. Uh, what's up, Quandale? I'm busy admiring my vineyard. Uh, Sonny? Guys, we have an emergency. There's a huge scary monster in the front of my shop. Can you please come and deal with it? Oh, Quandale. I'm a millionaire now. I don't have time for those things. He's gonna hurt my shop. Please hurry. Uh, Quandale, don't worry. Merlin, I think we need to hire some mercenaries to help the villagers. Oh, that's a splendid idea, Sonny. Okay, now that we got all these mercs, why don't you guys head into town and deal with that monster Quandale was talking about? First, you gotta pay up. I already prepaid you guys. What do you mean? I only have 16 of these stacks left. That was my fee. What about the rest of these guys? I only paid for one of you? Ugh. Melon, cough up the dough. Oh, here you go. Two stacks of $500 bills. That should be enough to cover all you guys now. <sighs> go save Quandale. What are you waiting on? Yes, sir. Woo! This is awesome! Bro, but you know what's even more fun, Sonny? The jet skis! Wait, we have jet skis? You're right! They're over here! I'm pretty hungry. You wanna get some cakes? Yeah, hop on! Oh, okay, where are we going? Well, to the front door. We don't simply walk, bro. Oh, yes, of course. The front door that we have created. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, this is the side window. My bad, this is the front door right here. Oh, it feels good to be rich. Sure does. Bro, let's eat! Look at all this delicious delicious food, hamburgers, strawberry jam, popcorn. I can't wait to eat this all. Melon, now that we're rich, we can even order hundreds of cakes. My goodness, Sonny. You're right. Our cakes, they're here. Oh my goodness, Sonny. I'm devouring them. Oh, I'm so hungry. No, 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 no. Oh, oh I'm full. My stomach hurts. Oh, Sonny. I'll feel a little chunky. Bro, you're so fat now. Bro, you're fat. Look at you. Yo, I'm thick. And Sonny, I can't even run anymore. I can just walk. Oh. Me too, bro. But I know we have these jet skis we should be trying out. Oh, oh you're right. Hold up. I can't wait to try those. Up on my dirt bike, Sonny. I think I'm gonna pass the weight limit on this. It's okay. It's working. Uh, never mind, Sonny. It broke. I tried to warn you. We're too thick now. Jet skis are just over there. Don't you see them? Uh, you wanna just pay someone to ride them for us? Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to handle a jet ski after eating all that cake. Let's just give some villagers some cash, and then we'll see what it's like from a distance. So let's just get this straight. You guys are paying us to ride these jet skis? Yeah. We're a bit too thick right now to ride them ourselves, so... So here, have some more money. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, that should be good enough. But you know what? I'm feeling generous today. Take this stack, this stack, and that. Yes, have a good life. And you better get big air. I want to see some epic jumps. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Thanks for the cash. Also, Sonny, I'm feeling way too lazy to even watch this. I'm just gonna head home. Me too, actually. Come to think of it, my stomach is really sick. I need to sit down on the couch and enjoy some video games. Two days later. Oh, I I love this skibbity episode. Bro, this is where the Titan is gonna absolutely crush these toilets. Um, Sonny, did you remember to pay the villager to save the cat from the tree? Oh, yeah, I did. I gave him my last bit of cash. I've got no money left. Oh, dang it, bro. I only have one euro left. Well, we'll have to make the most of it. But for now, let's go! Come on, Titan! Destroy those toilets! Sonny, 
Melon, there's a huge horde of zombies heading to the village, and I need your help now. Uh, Quandale, calm down. Our mercenaries should be there. They'll protect the village. No, there's nobody here. They all left yesterday. They said that you didn't pay them for more than one day. Oh no, I thought that was enough for at least the whole year. And now we don't have enough money to pay for them again. Ugh, Melon, it looks like we're gonna have to save the villagers ourselves. Let's grab the sword, Sonny. Oh, oh my god. And it's time to save the village. Hopefully there's still gas left in my dirt bike. I really hope so, Sonny. Oh, all right. Hop on, bro. Sonny, we got some fuel. Let's save the village. Ow! Ow! Oh, I think we're too fat for that. The poor motorcycle literally exploded. Uh, Death? What are you doing here? Hey, guys. So how was it? Uh, how was what exactly? Well, being a millionaire, how'd you enjoy it? Well, it was pretty fun while it lasted. Yeah, but now we're broke. We spent all of our money. Actually, that's not true. I still have some money left. Where'd my money go? So did you guys forget about the contract? What contract, Death? You just said if we shot a target, we could be millionaires. But the contract you signed, you agreed when you ran out of money that you joined my evil nether army. Uh, uh, I don't want to join your nether army. Yeah, me neither. What? You won't join? No, of course we're not going to join. We're not evil, Death. Oh, well, I'll just have to make you join then. Well... First things first, you guys got pretty fat from all that money. I have to help you lose all that weight. Why'd you gotta insult us like that? Sure, we put on a little weight. We ate a lot of birthday cake. It is what it is. Death, you really think this could keep us in here? I'll just get out through these trap doors. Ow! Ow! Melon, I think we're too heavy for the trap doors. They're not gonna work. You're right, bro. I can't do it. Well, I'll see you guys later when you've lost that weight. Melon, you look normal size again. So do you, Sonny. I think we can finally get out of here. Okay, we've gotta jump and time this and then... Then, uh, wait, you're already up? How'd you already get up? It was pretty easy. Oh, uh, didn't seem easy to me. I mean, uh, oh, yeah, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, it's, it's quite easy once you lost the weight. Now, Sonny, it seems like there's some kind of parkour. There's gotta be a way out of here. Oh, yeah, shortcut. Dude, you are crazy. If I was crazy, would I do this? Ooh, you are insane, Sonny, but I got the high ground. And now I've got the barrel. There's grappling hooks in here. This is gonna make our lives so much easier, bro. And so safer. Ah! That was close. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. You don't feel safe. I'm literally on fire. But if I twirl just right, I can make the jump. Oh no. Oh no. Well, Sonny, uh, uh, wait till you cool off. I'll, I'll see you on the other side. Uh, thanks, Melon. You're a great friend. You know that? Hey, I made it, but I'm still on fire. Turns out the nether is pretty hot. Sonny, I think I found out where we need to use our grappling hooks. Oh boy. Boy, these look tricky. If I could just line it up properly. Bro, are you okay? Here we go, Sonny. Check this out. I'm like Tarzan. Okay. Swing it from the ropes. Swing it from the ropes. And then jump. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> you're on fire, but you're alive, brother. You're good. How do I extend my rope again, Sonny? Just hold shift and then press S. Hold shift and S. Yo, check this out, Sonny. Mega jump. Mega jump. Mega jump. Jump! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm doing it! You made it! You're good! Melon, pull up! Pull up! You're cooking yourself! I did it, Sonny! Bro, I'm doing this without taking any damage. You are crazy. Ah! My turn! I'll show you how it's uh, done! Uh, I think I can just uh, swing around and... Oh, I'm up here now. Sonny, you're actually kind of the goat for that. And Sonny, look who I found. Mr. Death. If you don't let us out of here, we're gonna have to beat you up and send you swimming with the lava fish. Yeah, matter of fact, get him, Sonny! Yeah, take this, Death! Whoa, guys, chill out. You literally can't even hurt me anyway because I've been dead already for millennia, so just sit back down. Uh, okay. Congrats, I guess. But I can't take you into my army. You're too righteous. The big G upstairs will take care of you and you'll be sent to the overworld. Really? It was that easy? Yeah. This time, at least. Too bad it couldn't work out with us. 
I thought we would make great partners. Whoa! Quandale? How do we get here? There's no time for that. I got all the villagers in here and they are somewhat safe. Yo, you defended all the villagers from the zombies? You're awesome, Quandale. Well, not exactly. This is just a fortress. The zombies are all outside and trying to break in. Sonny, look out! Grab your gear and let's save the village. It's all about doing the right thing. Let's go! We're heroes! It's all about helping people! Today in Minecraft, we opened our own construction company, and I'm the engineer. And I'm the architect. Melon, our client has a budget of only one dollar. All right, let's make this the best one dollar house ever. Well, Melon, at least we tried. I personally think the dirt subscribe button is the best part. Press it right now. Please, we're so close to 500,000 subscribers. I'm so proud of us. We finally did it. Our own construction company. Bro, it's so awesome. So just so the viewers know, I'm in charge of design. And I'm in charge of the structural integrity. So basically making sure the builds work. Dude, I'm an architect. That's so awesome. And hold on a second. Do you hear that, Sonny? Hear what? Our first client. Sonny, Hank's on the line. We've got to do a good job if we want to get an excellent five-star review. Let's go. Where's Hank? Hank, Hank, Hank. Hank! There he is! There he is, Melon! I see him! It's Hank! Um, Hank looks a little bit sketchy, Sonny. Uh, hey there, Hank. We're here to help you construct your brand new house. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. I'm glad to see you. I was looking for something affordable for my new house. Yeah, sure, Hank. What are you thinking your budget's gonna be? Oh, yeah. Let me look at my wallet here. Um, I have about one dollar. Uh, just a moment, Hank. Melon, Melon, come over here. This guy is offering us one dollar. I don't even know how he afforded the lot, Sonny. I don't, I don't even know if this is his lot. I think he's a squatter. Uh, well, it, it doesn't matter, Sonny. A client's a client, and we gotta get our names out there. Maybe he has some kind of connections. You're right, bro. We need that five-star review. So we can't mess this up. Yeah, Hank, we'll do the job for one dollar. That's fantastic. I'm going to go back in front of a gas station, and maybe I can get another dollar to add to the budget. Sonny, we gotta do some brainstorming. How in the heck are we gonna build a house with one dollar? Careful. Carefully, Melon. Very carefully. By smacking up all of his grass! We're gonna use this, because dirt is a resource that's free of charge in Minecraft. So if we collect enough of this grass, we should be able to construct an epic house. Dude, you're actually a genius. Starting where it's free. The ground. Sonny, now that we've dug out a ton of dirt, we can use it to construct his house! Okay, so I'm thinking we should fuse it in with these birch trees, so that he's got a good structural integrity to it. Sonny, that's why you're the structural integral. Yes, exactly. I'll make sure this place is sturdy and Minecraft approved. Even though you can just do this in Minecraft, we're not going to question it. And Sonny, I'll work on the design. I'm thinking a nice dirt path to accompany this dirt hole. And maybe this path leads to a dirt house in this dirt hole. Wow. You're actually a genius, Melon. A five-star genius. I'd say we've done a pretty good job, Melon, considering the $1 budget. Hank, how do you like your new house? This is a good start, but I would like like it to look a bit more like a real house. Right now, it's just a pile of dirt. Are you insulting my design? No, Melon, don't argue with the customer. The client is always right. Uh, Hank, so how can we improve this thing? Just uh, bear in mind, you only have one dollar. There's gotta be something you boys can do to spruce this place up. Right now, it feels a little bit sad. Well, Hank, you gave us a one dollar budget. <sighs> we'll see what we can do. You're right, you are the customer. Sonny, I have an idea to improve the design. Okay. Okay, what are we gonna do? Follow me, Sonny, follow me. So, Sonny, you see this house right here? It has a beautiful architectural design. Yeah, it's made of bricks, like an actual house. Now, Sonny, 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 I just need you to trust me here. Go up and pretend you're a door-to-door -door salesman, all right? Sell him this dirt. Oh, I could do that, bro. I got a lot of dirt. Maybe I can get more than one dollar. <laughs> Check this out. Yes, and guys, while Sonny does that, I'm gonna be a little bit mischievous. 
Hi there, Steve. I'm your local dirt salesman. How many pieces can I interest you in today? How about three, four, a stack of 64? Wait, maybe more. Hold on, open the other door. That's a lot of dirt. And I rhymed a lot, so you should pay me. Sir, why are you throwing litter into my house? I didn't ask for this. Oh, Steve, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll clean it up for $5. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yo, I might be the best door-to-door -door salesman of all time. Guys, guys, I need to collect all the materials from the back of his house. Yes, yes, we can use these to make the house for Hank. Get a five-star review. So, Steve, are you sure I can't interest you in some of my fine dirt blocks? Ah, oh, guys, what is Melon doing back there? He's destroying Steve's house. I don't want to be his accomplice. This was a heist. Uh, uh, Steve, don't look. Steve, don't look. No, no, Steve over here. Yeah, Steve, uh, dirt. Yes, you wanted more dirt for your house? I got you, bro. I got you. Lots of dirt decorations. And don't worry, these ones are free. Gotta go. And guys, I've gotta loot him too. I've gotta loot him. Give me all this stuff. Yes, this will look great for Hank's house. Is there another chest somewhere? I just gotta tiptoe. There's one more. There's one more. Give me the chest. Oh, there's nothing in here. I gotta dip. Yo, Sonny. Melon, I can't believe you made me an accomplice to your crimes. We've got some building materials now, Sonny. <laughs> and you know what that means. We build a facade on the front of Hank's house to trick him into thinking he's got a really awesome home, but he doesn't? Exactly! Let's go. Uh, but give me the blocks. I'm the designer. Yeah, but Melon, isn't this more structural because it's on the outside of the house? No, it's, it's literally a facade, Sonny. Oh, you're right. It's only cosmetic. My bad. Then why'd you give me them in the first place? I just wanted to show off the blocks, bro. And done. Wow, Melon, that actually looks really good. Isn't it beautiful, Sonny? I wonder what Hank thinks. Oh, wow. Wow, that looks really good, bro, but can you please add a swimming pool? Are you kidding me? You have a $1 budget! Can you just give us the review already? Five stars, very polite, great to work with. That's all we want from you. Well, right now it's just three stars, but if you added that swimming pool, I would give you 5.5 stars. Deal? Oh, Melon, we have no choice. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the warehouse. <sighs> Hank, you suck. Guys, we don't have much in our inventory, but thankfully in this big empty room, we've got water. Now, Melon, for this swimming pool, I think we're gonna need an infinite water source. Oh, we're definitely gonna need that, Sonny. You're a genius. I know. I know. And then we just gotta take this and uh, let's just flood his entire place. Yep, Sonny. I leave that to the structural engineer. Oh, thanks. You give me the fun job, I see. Yep, I got you. Melon, in the meantime, why don't you go spend his $1 budget? Maybe get him uh, some toilet paper so he can wipe his butt. Yeah, he definitely looks like the kind of guy that doesn't wipe. Uh, Hank, I'm gonna get you some toilet paper, all right? Sonny, I got the toilet paper, bro. Dude, you already filled everything up. Yep, just finished making the pool. All that's left to do is a little bit of interior design, which I'm gonna leave up entirely to you. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do, Sonny, and you can't have toilet paper without toilets. Yeah, this is where I leave. Have fun. How am I gonna decorate his house with no more budget? I'm gonna have to look for a lot of free stuff. Time to take a stroll through town. Come on, there's gotta be some free stuff somewhere. Melon, are you finished here yet? Yep, it's all finished up, Sonny. Check it out! Bro, this place is crazy. How did you pull this off for one dollar? Um, well, actually, everything you see in here, Sonny, is free. Except for this toilet paper. That cost one dollar. You're telling me you found an old nasty toilet and then plugged it into... Dude, is this a shower head? Yeah, I, I kind of wish you were here for this because this might not be structured Intel Goodwill. Dude, this is very structurally sound. You're actually being eco-friendly, too. You're siphoning the water from his pool, putting it into the toilet so he can shower and poo at the same time. Yeah, bro, it's awesome. Everything here is used. This is a used toilet. This is a used washing machine. This is a used bucket. This is a McDonald's fridge. This is an Ikea drawer they were throwing out. Melon, you stole this refrigerator from McDonald's. No, they were leaving it out. Melon, inside of the McDonald's, they left it out. So I Took it. Whoa, you even got a TV. This is awesome. Yep, uh, it doesn't work though. And Sonny, the reason I had to spend all the money on toilet paper is because you can't actually get used toilet paper. It's pretty gross. Yeah, bro, that would be a major health concern if you had used toilet paper. I think it's done. And I think Hank will give us five stars. Hank, 
Your house is complete, bro. Check it out! What do you think, buddy? Wow, you guys really outdid yourselves. If I could, I would give you 10 stars. Yes! A perfect review, Melon! I think our construction company's gonna blow up in no time. No way, Sonny. We already got another client! Hey there, Jenny. You called Sonny and Melon's construction company, and we're here ready to work. That's awesome. I have a budget of around $100,000 to work with. Oh, thank goodness. Melon, she actually has money. Oh, thank goodness, bro. I did not want to make another dirt house. Me neither. It's time we move up in the world and start to construct magnificent beauties. So, what do you want out of this house? I want something cozy and modern, but also not too big, so it's easier to clean and maintain. That sounds good. That sounds good. Sunny, I finally get to do an awesome design! High five! Let's go! I'll start with the outside, though, so we have a good structure and foundation to work with. All right, Sunny, I'll leave you to it. Okay, so let's start the framework right around here. Gonna need a lot of scaffolding for this build. Yep, couple more blocks. Just want to get the house layout completed, you know? Yep, uh, yep, Sonny, any day now. Any day now. Dude, relax, I'm getting there. That's it, bro. I'm hiring some iron golems. You're way too slow. Bro, what do you mean? I'm just being detail-oriented and thorough. Sonny, it's too late. They're here. Wait, Melon, bro. Oh, fine, you know what? I'm just gonna go relax back at headquarters. I'll let you handle this one. Sonny, that's a great idea. Let's go and play some video games. Actually, Melon, come to think of it, you hiring these iron golems is perfect. That's how all great construction companies work. The guys at the top, <coughs> aka you and me as the business owners, we don't actually have to do anything. Isn't it awesome? Oh, Melon, I'm smoking you in Barry's prison run. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, bro. Hold on. I just got a notification from the golems. They're done. That was really quick, bro. Yeah, bro, they work quite efficiently. Well, let's go check out what they've built and collect that paycheck. Ooh. Yeah. They better have followed my instructions precisely, or else they're getting fired! Melon, calm down. It's beautiful, Sonny. They've done magic! You wanna really call this magic? It's way bigger than she wanted, and you can't even access the house without climbing up a ladder! What are you gonna claim, that this is for security purposes? No, 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 that was part of your plan, bro. You wanted this foundation like that. What? Dude, I wasn't building it this high up. What are you talking about? No, 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 Sonny, Sonny, you did this. You did this. Whatever, fine. Check it out, Sonny. I even created a nice, sleek glass door entrance. Yeah, Melon, there's no privacy in this house whatsoever. People can walk by and see straight through the front door. No, it's pretty cool, Sonny. Come on, just give it a chance. It's not about what I want. It's about what the client wants. And Jenny asked for something not too big and a little bit modern. This is like a futuristic house. Who the heck has a glass door like this? Um, I would want a glass door like that. And Jenny... Check it out, Sonny. It even has a melon farm. Isn't that so cool? Bro, this is supposed to be her garage where she parks her car. No, 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 no. It's supposed to be a melon farm patch. Dude, I feel like I'm in a grocery store. I literally come through automatic glass doors into a melon farm. I feel like I'm at the fruit market. Don't insult my work. Now, Sonny, check out this sleek kitchen. Modern-y, yet still homey. Oak wood design, pan stainless steel, micro microwave. Whoa, bro. Credit where credit's due. Your iron golems really outdone themselves. Is this really your blueprint? Did you set this up? Yeah, it is my blueprint, bro. Check it out. I'm even one step ahead of the curve. A kitchen table with seats that are toilet seats so you can poop while you eat. Melon, this might just be the most genius thing you've ever done. Bro, I could sit here. I don't have to go to the bathroom when I'm at dinner. Bro, this is gonna be awesome. And then, Sonny, the peak of everything. Thing, the peak of life. The ultimate gaming TV setup! Bro, are you serious? A couch so sleek with a TV on every corner? One with Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and this one just for YouTube? Bro, it couldn't get any better. Uh, but Melon, where are the bedrooms? Uh, they're all upstairs, Sonny, which you have yet to check out. This is the best part. Look, it's even handicap friendly. We've got a nice little walk up here. Wait, Melon, Melon, they're not all upstairs. Why is there a bedroom underneath the staircase? What is this, Harry Potter? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, this, that's, um, I, I don't know. There was just extra space, so I figured I'd put two beds here. Melon, there's literally grass and mold growing in this bedroom. I think it looks nice, all right? Fine. 
Maybe, maybe it wasn't my best choice, okay? Bro, whatever. I'm just gonna pretend it's not here. Now, Sonny, let me show you the upstairs. Okay. Bro, why is there a giant slide coming downstairs? Bro, actually, this was intended to be a ramp, so it's handicap friendly. But you're right, it's also a slide. Bro, making this was actually really smart and kind of you. It's good for old people, too. Now, Sonny, I want to show you the only bathroom in the whole house that we have. There's only one? Yeah, I mean, I mean, unless you count the kitchen table, but uh, it's in here. Check it out. It's an aquarium toilet, so you could poop everywhere and also in the toilet and drown. <sighs> Guys, this is really what I have to deal with. Why, Melon? This makes no sense. And if you want to get to the gaming setup, you got to get a little wet first because you got to go through the aquarium. Bro, this is dangerous. This is not up to code. No one's going to insure this house. Um, uh, whew, you, you probably should have, um, yeah, it's somehow your fault because that, that's your department. Well, at least there is a cool gaming setup out here. But what if it rains? This computer's going to get destroyed. That's why you're in the fundamental logistics department. Oh, no. Uh. Sonny? Sonny, you gotta fix this, bro! This is your department! It's not my department! I'm not in charge of gaming computers outside! Melon, this is literally your fault. Bro, how is this my fault? Plus, it's waterproof, man. No! Melon, Melon, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going back inside. Dude, the aquarium broke too. Uh, this isn't great, Sonny. This is not looking great. Yeah, let me see what else you put in this house. Okay, nothing on this balcony. Oh, there is a little barbecue. That's nice. And then a library. And what's over here? No, you don't need to you don't need to go in there, so Sonny. Sonny? Melon. The master bedroom is unfinished. Why would the iron golems tell you the house is ready? So uh we kind of spent ninety-nine thousand dollars on the aquarium, Sonny and we didn't have any more budget to finish the house. Bro, you really think our customer is gonna be happy that you made a toilet aquarium, but not their master bedroom? I don't know, Sonny. I'm not the client. We'll have to ask. <sighs> Well, at least the rain cleared up. So, Jenny, what do you think of your new house? The first floor is so amazing. I don't think I'll ever need to go upstairs. Or to the grocery store, even because I have all the watermelons I can eat in my garage. It's so sustainable and eco-friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a very good idea, Jenny. You do not need to go upstairs. I'm going to refer you to my cousin, Zachary. He wants to build a $1 million estate downtown, and he's looking for the right people. Don't worry, Jenny. We'll take care of that. Now, Melon, this time I'm choosing how the build looks. Sonny... <laughs> This is our ticket to the big leagues! Let's go! Hey, Zachary! I'm Sonny from Sonny and Melon Construction. We're here to help build your estate. That's fantastic. I have a $1 million budget for this property, but we're limited by the size of the land, and I don't want to build it anywhere else either. So, exactly how much of this land is yours? Just, uh, the plot with the two trees behind me. Bro! This is like nothing! So, so, just, just go with it, Sonny. Go with it, Sonny. Uh, we'll take his money and... And we'll be good. Yes, Zachary, I can build you a very nice skyscraper right here in this plot. No problem. That's magnificent. I'll be looking forward to seeing it once I return from my very important business trip at Stone Rock Business Insurance Bank Equity Varsity Limited International LLC. That won't be a problem, sir. We'll get right on it. Melon, I have an idea. It's going to be a little tricky to pull off, but I am the structural engineer after all. I should be able to figure this out. I believe in you, son. Uh, I'll let you do this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go chill, like over here on this bench. Let's start with the bones of the structure. And this thing is going to be very, very narrow. But I should be able to make something pretty good here. Uh, Sonny, what about the trees? Like, the two trees in the middle? Don't worry, I'll handle it when the time's right. Sonny, is the time right yet? Almost, Melon. I just want to finish the edge work. Oh, uh, yeah, the time's right. Uh, why, Sonny? Sonny, what are you doing? I'm getting rid of these trees! This seems really dangerous, Sonny, for no reason. No, this is just basic demolition. Very basic. Okay, just a little more edge work. Sonny, that's absolutely brilliant! 
The structural integrity. I could see it from here. Well, thank you, melon chap. Just a little bit more work to do and we'll be ready for your interior design. Oh, I can't wait. This time, I'll replace all the toilets with plants and all the plants with toilets. Melon, why? Because, sonny, because. Now, Melon, Minecraft does not have marble, but it has granite. So what better than to do a granite floor for the lobby? Oh, yes, that is such a poor choice of material, but you do you, sonny. What do you mean? This is quite rich, wealthy, affluent. Oh, quite, my dear boy. Mmm, whatever you say. I'm going to now construct the bathroom floor. It will be filled with toilets to the bridge. Toilets everywhere. Toilets everywhere. Bro, why do you have an entire floor dedicated to toilet? The porcelain throne begs to be earned, to be used, to be flushed, Sonny. You are scaring me a lot. What is this? Why? It's the porcelain throne. You wouldn't understand. You are just a peon. You've literally trapped yourself in porcelain prison, bro. You're enthroned in toilets. It's like you're part of the Skibbity series. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Let me make a path here and now it's perfect sonny i really hope that zachary is just as obsessed with toilets as you are it's awesome bro you can have like poop buddies that is just disturbing now sonny on the walkway in there must be a statue of the great steve and the beautiful alex why why must there be a statue because sonny it is true art the first minecraft player to ever exist a true historical figure and alex it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. It's magnificent. It's art. It's culture. I guess all of those things will be appreciated by Zach. <sighs> Anyways, let's just figure out what we're going to do with the top. Don't do it. You just don't understand art! And the final touch. I just really hope Melon didn't do anything stupid. Sonny, what have you done to my designs? Nothing, bro. All I did was set up the rooftop with a jacuzzi and a beautiful scenery. Sonny, the porcelain throne room is gone oh yeah that <laughs> i had to remove those toilets well at least you kept the rest of my design bro oh fine i guess this is more traditional and i guess she's more likely to like it but i thought the toilet room like you know maybe if you really like toilets it would really blow them away and then he'd give us even more money but fine melon here's the thing i'm sure he would have loved your porcelain throne room but the issue is just think about his plumbing bill he's a millionaire now but if he took over the building he would have been a brokey it would have been billions of dollars every month in toilet fees i wonder where zach is he should be back by now well let's just see don't push me i uh, don't see him over there wait why is hank here i think that's hank bro that can't be hank he has a diamond block in his hand oh true yeah hank was a brokey who is there i i don't remember zach dressing like that oh melon i'm just admiring my handiwork look at this kitchen it fits the skyscraper so beautifully and the living room it's perfect you can watch tv and find nemo all at the same time uh uh, Hank, what are you doing here? Oh, you two were talking to my nephew Zachary about constructing my new ultra-luxury skyscraper mansion, and I came to check it out. W what are you talking about, Hank? Zach bought the building, not you. Zachary put one million down for the deposit, but I'm actually going to pay one billion dollars for the delivered product. What do you mean, a billion? Well, I am actually the trillionaire owner of Stone Rock Business Insurance Bank Equity Varsity Limited International LLC, and I was merely pretending to be a homeless brokey to test and see how hard working you two truly are. And you've definitely passed my criterion. Well, thank you, Hank. Melon, did you hear that? He's a trillionaire, and he thinks that our construction handiwork is some of the best he's ever seen. Oh, that's so awesome. Now, if you constructed a big porcelain throne room, I'll be happy to give you one billion dollars on the spot. Sonny? Yeah? Why did you get rid of the room? How was I supposed to no! Make sure you guys subscribe to Sunny and Melon for 1 billion diamonds in Minecraft. Today in Minecraft, we became famous! Sunny and I decided to go to Hollywood and make a movie. And now we're A-list celebrities. Yeah, check out this fancy car. And this fancy boat. And the fanciest subscribe button you've ever seen. Press it now. Oh yeah, this is my favorite song.
Melon! Melon! Bro, you gotta come outside and check out my new race car! Bro, why would you buy that, Sonny? We have, like, no money! We're in debt! Don't worry, bro. The aliens have no clue about my secret diamond stash. Just get in my car, dude. Enjoy it. I'm pretty sure they... They know everything, Sonny. They look at our payments. Not my car payments. Rev this engine up and let's go! Oh my god, this car is flying! Sonny! I'm sorry, I might have driven the car a little too fast. Uh, Sonny? What is that? Bro, that looks like a movie set. Come on, let's check it out. <laughs> yo, I think you're right. It might be, yo, they have a tank and a realistic car. Wait, who is this? Quindale Danglandino? I think that's the movie director. Yo, Quindale, what are you guys up to over here? This looks crazy. <laughs> Oh, you're working on a movie? That's so cool. Can I help? Please, I want to do something. Sonny, he probably doesn't want your- You actually want his help? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that lever over there? Yeah, I got you. I can handle it. Melon, you stay right here. Sonny, this is stupid. I'm gonna go and farm up the old-fashioned way. I'm going in the mines. That's how I'm gonna pay off our debt. Okay, Melon, you have fun with that, bro. I'm gonna learn about movie magic. Like, let's Let's see. This little lever right here, if I flick it, I think it's gonna create a special explosion effect. And... Yo! That was awesome! I exploded the helicopter! Quindell, that was awesome! Thanks so much for giving me a chance to try out some movie magic. Question for you, though. Is there maybe good money in this business? There is? Because I need to make a lot of diamonds. Wait, are you trying to suggest that I would not be a good movie director? Bro, I would be an absolute goat at this. This looks easy. You just get a bunch of people, a cool set, some explosions, maybe even some lava, and then I just need a good actor. And I know just the guy for the job. Ah! 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 Sonny! Bro, bro, this is not good. Sonny? Don't go mining. I haven't even gotten a single diamond yet, and I'm about to die. Melon, don't worry about it, bro. We're not gonna need to go mining. I'm gonna make you a movie star. Bro, I don't know. Quindell seemed kind of sketch, man. Uh, are you sure it pays well? We don't need Quindell. You've got me, Sonny, the goaded director. I've got a movie set and all kinds of plans. Just trust me, you're gonna be a superstar in no time. Ow! And the witch is here! What the heck, bro? You brought her out of the mines. Sonny, this is not a good start to our movie career. Wait, maybe I should hire the witch. They seem like a pretty good paid actor. Hello. Would you perhaps be interested in- Bruh! She didn't want to star in my movie! Melon, get out of the car and follow me this way. We're gonna go on set. All right, Sonny. How did you afford this set, by the way? I just had to convince a few rather dodgy individuals to give me some small loans of one million diamonds. Sonny! If we don't pay that back, we're not only gonna be in debt to Alien Corp, but we're gonna be in debt to some sketchy people. Don't worry, Melon. We're gonna get rich bro look at this set we're gonna make an irresistible movie we're gonna be famous all right what do we do so let me describe the scene okay i'm gonna be a bank robber you're gonna be the hero okay so i'm gonna pull up to the bank and be like yo give me all your money give it to me now put the money in the bag and then you're gonna save the day okay all right that sounds good uh anywhere i stand like what do i do man you gotta direct me bruh we got cars over here i've got the yellow sketchy car the robber vehicle and you've got this sophisticated 007 00 melon type of car melon just grab your props i've got to get my robber mask and some bullets and a gun. Okay, I got the toy revolver. <laughs> Yo, this is sick. I'm ready for a bank heist. Okay, first scene, the camera's rolling. I've pulled up and I'm breaking into the bank. Yo, give me your money. Give me your money. Not if a melon has anything to say about it. Cut. Dude, that was cringe. Come on. I thought you were working on your line. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me try again. Let me try again. Hold on. Change the film. Okay, camera's rolling. Bro, 
Give me all your money! I'm a melon and I've got things to not to you say about it. Dude! Oh, come on, bruh. All you need to say is look at me. I'm gonna stop you. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay, sorry. Change the film again. Bro, this is gonna get really expensive making this movie if you keep messing it up! I'll, I'll got a good line. I got a good line. All right, ready? Go, go, go. Coming out of my car into the bank and hey, hands up! Money in the bank! It looks like the sun's not gonna rise today. Cut. That was perfect. Yes, let's go. Not today, Melon. Get back here! Get in my escape vehicle. I'm out of here! Bro, how are you eating these? Oh no, I gotta reload. I gotta reload. Oh my god. Uh, this movie is gonna be very expensive. <laughs> what happened, Sonny? I don't want to talk about it. Mike, you better have that camera rolling. This next scene is expensive. Don't mess this up for me. Okay, Melon, for this next scene, we're gonna have a car chase, and you're gonna need- Wait, 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 pause, Sonny. Sonny, why is there a Nerf gun on your crotch? What are you talking- I don't see anything. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that is not normal. Are you okay? You might have some internal bleeding going on. Melon, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just focus on the movie, okay? So here's the plan, right? It's a car chase scene like, woo, I'm the villain. I stole money from the bank. And you'll be all up in this super cool spy car trying to chase me. But what you're going to do is get out of the car because we have limited staff. We don't have enough employees. I got Mike down there filming, but I need you on the push camera, okay? All right, I got it. I got it. Okay, so get in your car. And lights, camera, action. Okay, quick, get on the push camera. Let me get to the camera. Let me get to the camera. Go! Mike, I'm sorry. Mike, I'm sorry. What is going on? Hold on. So, uh, Melon, Melon, hold on. I'm trying to get to the scene. Just gonna grab this camera, get in the minecart, and get a sick shot. Okay, Matt. Ready, Melon? Action shot! Yo, this is perfect! This is awesome! Oh, no! Uh... Don't worry about it. We might have broke the time-space vortex and defied all laws of physics, but we're just gonna do some movie magic here and make it look like an explosion, okay? Well... Good luck to the editors. Okay, Melon, that scene's gonna be good in editing. Don't worry about it. And now I've put the villain's skull and some of his diamond loot on the ground. It's your time to shine. This is your big moment on set. Okay, I got it. I got it. Hold on, let me get the close-up camera. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like this Melon got the job done. Dude, that's not the line, Melon, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stick to the script, okay? Trust your director, I'm going. Loaded. All right, what do you want me to say? You need to say something really clever and fun and exciting and endearing to the viewer. Something like, isn't it good that I put this two-ton wall here? Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. I, I th think I put the bricks here earlier. Melon, what's going on, bro? Are you getting stage fright? I'm getting nervous, okay, chill. Okay, come over here, come over here. I'll show you how to clear those nerves, okay? I just need you to come back here and be like, hur, hur. get it out of your system, all right? Clear it, clear it. Hur, 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 hur. Okay, remember, you're a superhero spy. You got this, bro. Looks like this melon put a two and a half ton brick wall in the way. Yeah, that's perfect. That's gonna sell the big bucks. You're gonna have so many fans. You sure, man? I don't know. It didn't even feel that great, to be honest. No, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Okay, I'm trusting you, director, Sonny. Ah, melon. All in a day's work. I'm so proud of what we've done today. I'm kind of tired, though, Sonny. I think I'm gonna call it a wrap and hit the bed. Yeah, you should rest as the lead actor. You need all the beauty sleep you can get. I'll work with Mike! Stay focused! And, and the editors to make sure we have a great film ready for launch tomorrow. Sounds good. Wait, this is a one-day production? Yeah, dude, that's how you make the big bucks. You gotta crank the content out quick. Uh, uh, all right, uh, sounds good. See you tomorrow. Bye, Melon. Melon, I can't believe it. I could practically cry. Our first screening, and they loved it. Dude, I can't believe it actually worked. Honestly, Sonny, I had zero faith in you. Well, Melon, at least one of us believed. I knew I could make you into a superstar. Bro, I'm famous. Look at all the people that turned up. Bro, we got Bob, 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 Bobby, Bobby Guard, 
and a bunch of villagers. Nice, bro. They even laid out the red carpet for you. And don't worry, Mr. Melon, I'll drive you home. Thank you so much, kind sir. I'll sit in the back. Now drive me to my mansion. You don't have a mansion yet, but I'll drive you. What are you doing? I'll fly you. I'll fly. It's okay. It's okay. I'm taking you to the next set. These cars are extremely combustible. I know. I'm bringing you to the next movie set, bro. We gotta grind. We gotta grind. No. Oh, we're alive. What is going on, Melon? <laughs> what is happening? Sonny, this isn't a car anymore. I don't know. <laughs> This is a spaceship. Do you think the aliens sent it? I'm just trying to get to our next set. Melon, I present to you the second movie set. Wait, Sonny, we're already making another movie? We're rich now. Why don't we just like chill, drink some milk, eat some steak on a beach, you know? Melon, there's no time to relax. We're under immense pressure from the alien corp. And you know what they say about pressure? It makes diamonds, bruh. And that's what I'm after. Millions of diamonds. You're right, Sonny. Let's film this next movie. And Melon, today on set, I brought a special guest. It's Quindale Danglandino. He's here to judge our amazing work because we're kind of the best movie makers in town now. Mmm, yes. You think it's maybe he wants to oversee to make sure this thing goes right? Uh, dude, it's literally my movie. I brought him in as a guest. Okay, whatever you say, Sonny. So, Melon, first things first, get over here, please. Enter the change room and put on your space suit. Because today, you're saving Melanie from the Martians. Okay. Yo, Sonny, I'm geared up. I'm a whole astronaut. You look goaded, Melon. It's time. Hey, yo, chill with the Nerf gun. That's for the Martians, not for me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. So what do I do here, Sonny? I'm lost. I need you, Melon, to climb up to the top of the rocket ship and hit me with your best motivational speech ever. I'm gonna bring the handheld camera to view you. All right, I got this. Climb Climbing up. Oh, this is a great shot. This is a great angle. You look good, dude. One small step for Minecraft. No, no, no. Look over here. Look at the camera. Where are you? I don't even know where you are. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yep. Redo it. Redo it. One large step for Minecraft. One small step for melon kind. <gasps> oh, you had it perfect until you missed the rocket ship. Just give me one more try. Give me one more try. Let's get another angle of this too. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to get a close up. Dude, you, you're up my butt right now. Chill. Chill. You sus. Okay, I'm backing up. Relax. Okay, you have some room now. Every step I take upwards is a step up for mankind. That was pretty cringe, but it's okay. And dang it! Melon! Well, just do the end scene, Sonny. I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. I got the close up now. Ready? One small step for melon kind. Okay, perfect. Open the door. Go. Get in the rocket ship. No! I don't want to. You have to, or we're gonna have no <clears throat> more diamonds. One small step for man. One giant step for melon kind. I got this. All right, we just need this scene. <laughs> yes! Wow, that was so captivating. I feel inspired. Great work. Melon. Can I can I leave now, Sonny? Nope. Stay right there in the rocket ship. I've got to send it to Mars now. We got to get this authentic clip. Wait. What is going on? Yo! What the heck? Sonny, I'm in the rocket ship. Everything's so dark. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's just a prop. You're fine. You're not going to space. You're fine. You're fine. Are you sure? I, I can't see anything right now. Yeah, look. I'll bring you back down. See? You're fine. I don't even know where I am right now, Sonny. It's okay. It's called method acting. You're on Mars now. And scene. What's that, Quendel? You're very impressed with my movie-making skills? Uh, I know. I'm pretty much the best in the biz. Yo, this is epic. We're on Mars right now? Yeah, you are. See, that's your rocket ship. You're gonna come out of the door. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, bang. And then... Hold that. Hold that right there. Let me just check something. No, Melon, let me check something. I need to put down the Martian threats. Yes. And Quandalita is waiting for you to save her. I thought if it was Melanie here, you'd be under way too much pressure. I wanted to make sure you brought your best acting. You're right, Sonny. Why is there an actual wither skeleton? Sonny, that thing could kill me. Yeah, it's, it's all part of the scene. These are paid actors. Don't worry. So all right, can I take the scene in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be careful. We couldn't afford fake lava, so this is a little bit hot. Sonny, this is very dangerous and not up to code, but 
I'll do it anyways. Quandelina, I'll save you. Just gotta do this parkour. Great shot. Great angle. Great angle, Melon. Sonny, these wither skeletons look r really, really real. Like, I don't know if they're actors, Sonny. No, they're paid actors. Don't worry. Are you sure about this? Say something heroic and shoot them. You Martian scum, I'll kill you. Don't touch my Quandelina. That's perfect. That's very good. Hey, great shot. Great scene. <laughs> Yo, what you gonna do? Oh, these are real. They're actually real. No, I told you to be careful, Melon. You told me they were paid actors. Yeah. Paid wither skeleton actors. They're the real deal. Authentic. Melon, you're doing great though, bro. Just one last scene. All right, I can do this. I can do this. This is extremely dangerous, but I'll do it. For Quandelita, the great Melon does it. Against all odds, he conquers those wither skeletons and saves his girl. Melon, that's not the line, but it was still beautiful. Quite poetic, really. But please say the actual line now. Okay, and that is? Uh, le sorry, let me, le <laughs> let me check the script. Yeah, you don't even know. Oh, yeah, it's... They didn't account for the world's biggest, strongest, most intelligent melon. And then, and then take your helmet off for this, too, so they can see your face. Okay. They didn't account for the world's biggest, strongest melon. <gasps> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Melon, what are you doing? This isn't even Mars. This is a movie set. <sighs> You take your job too seriously sometimes. But you know what? That scene's perfect. Quandelita, great acting as well. We're gonna call that a wrap. Scene cut. Oh, what's that, Quendil? You wanna buy Sunny Studios, the greatest movie-making company in all of Minecraft? Yeah? You're gonna make me an offer I can't refuse? Yo, chill! 2.5 million diamonds? You're dang right I can't refuse. All the diamonds are in this briefcase? Oh, <sighs> You have a deal. You have a deal. Give me these. Give me these. Give me these. Yes. Yes. Melon. Melon. We're so rich. Quendil just bought my movie studio for 2.5 million diamonds. Wait, what? We can actually pay off our debt. Yes. Dude, you're right. I'm gonna pay the aliens off immediately. Just gotta come inside, put the briefcase on the transmitter, and... Yo, did you hear that? I think it worked. Wait, let's see. Are there any diamonds left? Bro, there's nothing left in here. Wait, do you hear that? Yeah, what is that sound? Bro, we paid off for debt, and we're good. Melon, I'm still hearing that noise. Wait, Sonny, the arena... It's gone! No way! The aliens took it back? What the heck? Uh, Melon? What do you think happened to Quendil Dongleton? Wait, was he still in there? Yeah, I kinda just sold it to him. And now I feel like I might have scammed him. Well, you know who we didn't scam? That like and subscribe button! Press it now! Today in Minecraft, we became pro miners! We started off with just basic tools, and then we ended up finding a gem worth thousands! And then we upgraded to professional mining! Look how many diamonds, emeralds, and gems we have! We're so rich! Like the video right now, and I'll turn melon into diamonds! Sonny, why did you do this? This is cursed! Sonny, Sonny, you're not gonna believe what I found in the mines! Did you finally get diamonds? No, Sonny, I didn't find any diamonds. But I found this. A sable amethyst. Whoa, what is this, Melon? I don't know, Sonny, but we gotta take it to Quandale. It's gotta be worth something. You're right, bro. Let's head to his new gem shop and get it evaluated. Please tell me it's worth a lot of money. Quandale, I was mining earlier and I found this gemstone. No, 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 no. I was mining, Sonny. Give me the gemstone back. Fine, I'll give you credit where credit's do. Yeah, so Quandale, I found this, uh, what's it called again? Sable Amethyst, bro. Uh, this has gotta be worth something, right? Wow, you guys actually found something really interesting. Okay, how much is it worth? Well, I can give you 3,000 emeralds for it right now, but I think you should think about it. Think about what, bro? 3,000 emeralds? Let's do it! Yeah! I want my emeralds, Quandale! Yes! Melon, check out this barrel! We're rich! Wait, 
Dude, Sonny, what do you mean, we? Well, I took half of the emeralds, so I'm feeling pretty rich. Sonny, give me my emeralds now! Okay, fine, I put them back in the barrel. No, no, you still have a stack of emerald blocks, Sonny. Sorry, sorry, there you go, that's the rest of them. That is, that is cap, but you know what, Sonny? Whatever, I'll let you keep some emeralds, because I feel bad for you. Stop arguing, you two! Oh, sorry, Quandale, forgot you were here still. What do you mean? It's my shop! Anyways, that's besides the point. You found this gem close by, which means that this area has more to offer. I would suggest buying a Mind Driller 3000. And you might find even more gems and get rich. Uh, Sonny, you thinking what I'm thinking? Quandel, take my money! Bro, Quandel just gave us emeralds so that we could give it back to him. Whatever, give us that drill! Smart move, here you go! Thank you, Quandel. Be careful around it. It's gonna use a huge drill to create a giant hole in the ground. Melon, this is gonna be so awesome. Where should we set it up? Sonny, I have the perfect spot in mind. Let's go. Sonny, give me the drill. I know the perfect spot to place it. There you go you go. Okay, so when I found that precious gemstone, I was about negative 48 by a Y56. That means if I carry the five over. Melon, just place it right here on this coal. It's gotta be a good location. No, Sonny. Right about here. Whoa! That looks awesome! Sonny, it's time we mine and get rich! Yes, I'm ready. I can't wait to activate this drill. Melon, do you mind if I do the honor? Yeah, go for it, bro. I have absolutely no idea how to operate this thing. Oh, Melon, it's easy. All I have to do is come to the top of the drill and grab the controller mechanism. Yes. Um, okay. And then, Melon, all I have to do is activate the controller. Is it working? It's working, Sonny! Yo, how's our drill? Bro, it's drilling, Sonny. It's drilling real deep. Bro, this is beautiful! Yes! Sonny, in no time, we're gonna find the rarest ores and become Minecraft millionaires. I can't wait. But first, why don't you take a look down there and tell me what it looks like? No! Wait! Sonny, the mining's complete. Disable the drill. You got it, chief. Drill disabled. And now if we go in here, we have two grappling hooks ready. We can use this to descend into the pits. Wait, wait, Sonny. Please tell me you brought the pickaxes. I have this one. <sighs> I'll be back. A few moments later. Sonny, listen here, boy. I got us two picks with the rest of the emeralds we had. Let's do this. Now, Melon, be very careful as we descend down. Make sure you attach your grapple to our drill and slowly, slowly go down. How are you doing that, bro? You just press shift and down. Oh. Yo, Sonny, check out all these rare ores. No way. Quandale was right. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. Gotta be quick with this one, though. <sighs> Yep, and Sonny, it's time to mine! What do you think these gems are, bro? Purple gem? What is it? Oh, this is the sable amethyst that you found originally. Dude, that on its own is worth 4,000 emeralds, Sonny. Uh, it was 3,000, but sure. 3,000, doesn't matter. Eh, Sonny, I've got a garnet and a dusk emerald. Dude, we're gonna be absolutely rich. And I just found a rainbow ore. What's it drop? What's it drop? Opals, bruh! We're gonna be rich! Grab it all. Grab it all. Bro, I wonder how much these ores are gonna be worth. These aren't ores, Melon. These are gemstones. Come on. We're supposed to be professionals. You're right. What about this one? What's this one? Yeah, you should mine those. They're worth a lot. This is a rare black opal. It almost looks like coal. Okay, it's uh, it's actually just coal. Yeah, Melon, good one. Look what I found, though. I've got aquamarine, kunzite, dusk emeralds, opals, peridots, and sapphires. Fires. Holy moly. Bro. If we find a black opal, legend has it, it's worth millions, maybe even billions, Sonny. Dude, that'd be amazing. But I don't want to push our luck right now, okay? We just did our first gemstone excavation. I think we should count our blessings and go sell all this off with Quandale. You're right, Sonny. Let's see how much it's worth. Quandale, you gotta see this haul. Dude, dude, the Miner 3000 was amazing. And with it, we got Peridots, Sapphires, Sables, Opals, <laughs> so many gems. It's unbelievable, Quandale. You would not believe that mine. It was filled with the biggest riches ever. Oh! I knew it. Good job, guys. We're gonna get rich. I'm gonna list these on my website and give you an 80% cut once I sell them. Also, Quandale, I found these black opals. That's coal, Melon. I don't want it. <laughs> 
Melon, I told you, bro. You're so dumb sometimes. And besides, Melon, black opals don't even exist. That's not true, Sonny. Black opals are real, but they are incredibly rare. Mythically rare, even. One hasn't been found in the past 1,000 years. Quandale, I won't stop until I find a black opal. Do you have, uh, perhaps any more digging equipment we can buy? Oh, with these gems, you can buy a lifetime supply of TNT. Just look inside the barrel on your right. Thank you, Quandale! Uh, Sonny, we only got a stack of TNT. That's more than enough to get things moving, Melon. Back to our mine! I, I mean, I feel like that's kind of a ripoff, considering all the gemstones we just gave him. Yeah, but Melon, he said we could have as much as we want. He's just starting us with 64. If we need more, we could just ask. Oh, Okay, okay. Sonny, what are you doing? I'm carving out pockets for you to put TNT. These are blast zones. Oh, that's actually pretty smart. Yeah, just start with the one with these oak planks. I marked it for you. You can't miss it. There you go. Okay, so I just fill this room up with TNT. Yeah, and then blow it up. That should be good. And bombs away, run! <laughs> blast site number one detonated! Let's see, what did we reveal? Any gemstones? Any black opals? A absolutely nothing, Sonny. That was a complete waste. It's okay, bro. I've got another blast zone right here. It's ready for you. All right. Let me just fill this up with TNT. Yep, there we go. And are you ready, Sonny? Yep, let's do it. Da -da -da! Hey, Melon. Sonny, why? <laughs> Yo. Dude, you suck at digging these things. Ow, ow, there's even a silverfish. Wait, why is there silver? fish in here. Bro, something's not right about this place. Give me the TNT. I actually think you're right, Sonny. Silverfish don't randomly spawn like that. I'm gonna make another blast zone right here. We must be close to a stronghold, and maybe if we find one, there'll be a black opal inside. Melon, do the honors. Hey Come on. Come on. There's gotta be a stronghold! We found one! No way! What is this place? Bruh, this does not look like a stronghold. I've never seen seen this type of monument before. Sonny, I've got to explore this monument. Maybe they even have a black opal. Whoa. What is that in the center of this temple? It looks so weird. Sonny, be very careful. I've heard legends of temples like this. They often have traps set up. But what do you think this is, bro? I've never seen this ore in my life. Hold on, Sonny. I remember reading books about the black opal. This looks oddly familiar to it. There's no way. This might actually be the black opal. No way, bro. A black opal hasn't been seen for over a thousand years. Yeah, Sonny, but think about it. This mountain contains an unusual amount of rare gemstones, and now we find this monument? Dude, it must be. This is the rarest gem of all, the black opal. <gasps> Sonny, that's it, the black opal. No way, bro. That thing looks amazing. Bro, we're gonna be rich. Sonny, get out of here. Run for it! I'm on fire! Ow! Mella, we gotta go! We gotta go! Yeah, bro, we gotta get out of here! Ah, I'm on fire too! Oh no, I gotta eat bread! I'm just gonna build my way through and build my way- Melon, I can't build here! Something's preventing me from placing blocks in this room! No, Sonny, it's the traps! I told you, bro! They were sophisticated back in this time! We've gotta get out of here quick! Do the parkour! I'll try my best! I hope I don't cook! Yo, this is crazy! Sonny, we got a dip! Yes, we actually got out with our lives! You still have the black opal, right? Of course I do, Sonny. This thing is beautiful! Now, let's grapple out of here to Quandale's. Quandale, Quandale, you're not going to believe what we found. Quandale, we found it. The legendary Black Opal. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't even begin to explain how rich we're all about to become. People doubted this gem even existed. Oh, that's awesome, Quandale, but I need to take a nap. <laughs> Ugh, I'm tired. Quandale, you could transfer all the funds to me. I'll make sure Melon gets his share. Just come back tomorrow. I will surely have sold it by then. Oh, guys, our house sucks. We're gonna be rich soon. I can't wait to buy a bigger home. Good night, Melon. The next Melon. Good morning. <laughs> 
Guys, I set my alarm super early today so I can wake up before Melon and go get the money from Quandale. Yeah, we're gonna be rich. Quandale, you better pay up. I hope you sold it. Yes, I transferred all of the money to your bank account. Now we're all super giga mega rich. We're the richest people in Minecraft. Yes, with all my money, I'm gonna buy Melon and I a brand new mansion. Uh, that's great and all, but maybe you two should reinvest in the business and make it work all automatically with new equipment. Huh. Huh, that's not such a bad idea. Come to think of it, mining gemstones all day is exhausting. I wouldn't mind having some type of way to automate our business. Well, yeah, you can purchase some new equipment and make it basically automatic. There's a bunch of ore extractors at the construction gear warehouse, but they're really, and I mean really expensive. That's a great idea, Quandale. Can we also get some teleporters off your hands so I can bring the equipment back more easily? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. 64 teleporters. That should be more than enough to bring the equipment home. Ah, the only question is, can I buy a new mansion before Melon wakes up? Probably yes. Especially if you press that like button in the next two seconds. One, two. Good morning. Ah, feels good to look out the window and also be rich. Yep. Ah, Sonny, what are you up to, Sonny? Sonny, where are you? Where did Sonny go? Sonny. Sonny. Melon, calm down. I was just doing a little bit of shopping. What do you mean you're doing a bit of shopping, Sonny? Where's my money? Dude, it's in your bank account. Relax. Quantum. Wandale paid both of us, and I spent half of our money on a new mansion. No way. Sonny, let me see this place. Okay, okay, follow me. It's over here. So, Melon, what do you think? Um, I think there's no way that this was worth half of an opal. Well, no, it was worth one third of an opal. Bro, what the heck? I mean, actually, wait, this is ins No, never mind, it was worth it. Bro, you have a rainbow chair on wheels? No, bro. It's called a sports couch. Dude, there's no way i can drive this thing i know that's what costed most of my money all right so don't break it that is so awesome anyways melon quandel recommended we automate our business by buying these excavators and construction equipment but i'm all out of money so you're gonna have to pay for it <sighs> Fine, but I'm gonna live in this house too, Sonny. Well, yeah, I bought it for both of us. Oh, okay. Perfect, let's do this. It's time for the rich to get richer. Whoa, check out all these tractors. There's so much construction equipment here. Yeah, Sonny, these aren't ours. I phoned ahead and I ordered everything that's in the red crates over there. Okay, then all I have to do is strap up the teleporters and they should warp back to our mining site. Yep, uh, do, do whatever you just said. Okay, perfect. So I take teleporter, teleporter. Don't touch these though, they're quite hazardous. Yeah, uh, they kind of look more like landmines, Sonny. No, 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 they look very similar, but they're totally different. Okay, I just gotta put it on every corner of these crates and they should warp back home. Just a couple more. And then, Melon, I'm gonna need you to come activate them. How am I supposed to do that, Sonny? I, I just need a stranger who isn't uh, uh, fingerprinted for the teleporters, yeah, to, to just step on them. Okay, sounds good. And booyah! Oh, thank goodness it came with workers. Yeah, boys, do you mind building all this stuff for us? We're uh, not really interested in doing manual labor anymore. Yeah, uh, I'll give you a flower. There you go, yeah. Melon, we are paying them more than that, just so you know. Yep, uh, anyways, uh, yep, uh, do that, do all this stuff, set everything up, make us all the money, and we'll give you 5% of everything we make split between all of you. And if you don't, we'll blow you up! And your families. We're gonna go play some video games now. See you, boys. Yo, the Sunny and Melon Mining Company. Our factory looks awesome, bro! But, uh, wh why is the Melon side not making any money? Dude, what are you talking about? It's just our logo. Go relax. Oh, okay, okay, good. I was just getting a little worried there. Are we making any money, though? Yeah, we are, bro. Check it out! Our conveyor belt! It's collecting so many gemstones! I gotta see this. I gotta see this. No way! Melon! We're actually rich! Bro! We're gonna be rich! We're gonna be the richest in Minecraft ever! We're gonna rule the world! Alongside Quandale. Yeah, speaking of Quandale, we should probably check in on him, because we're gonna need his help to sell all this stuff. Yeah, let's give him a talk. 
He's gonna be so happy. I'm just bringing some of my gems with me. Dude, this is so cool. I even got spinal gems. They look like little hearts. Quandale! What? Closed permanently? Too rich to care? Minecraft's first trillionaire? Wait, Melon! Did Quandale scam us? Wait, don't tell me. I knew the black oval was worth way more than four million. I'm such an idiot! You know what else is worth way more than that? Pressing the like button and supporting our channel by subscribing. <sighs> You guys better do it right now because that was my life's work and I got scammed for it. You can give us your love. Get it? Because that's a heart gem. Today in Minecraft, we opened a McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? I'd like the big man Sunny Burger with the big Sunny Fries and the crispy fried subscribe button. Your total is $1 million, sir. Wait, what? This is an outrage. Give me that. Goats, help me get Sunny arrested for stealing the food by pressing the like button. Thank you. No! Oh, Melon, I'm so sick of this apartment. It's so dingy and dirty, full of cobwebs. Why do we have to be such brokies? Sonny, we're not broke. We have like a stack of emerald. Never mind, Sonny, we're completely broke. Yeah, we have four lousy emeralds and I'm taking them out of the chest. They're mine now. No, Sonny, I need those. I need those. Give me two. All right, we'll split the Emmys up because that's what friends are for. And and you know what else friends are for, Melon? Uh, taking the other two emeralds. Uh... Put the knife down! You're a maniac! Yes. I'm rich! Now, with this, I can get myself a job. Don't see how that makes any sense. But yes, you're correct. We should totally get new jobs! Uh, whoops. I think I just broke into someone's apartment. And it's okay, Sonny. I know how to get out of here the fast way. Follow me! Right behind you! Sonny, with these four emeralds, I'll pay someone to give us a job. Uh, Melon, that's not how jobs work, bro. Uh, Sonny, what's going on? Yo, we're watching this villager get arrested. I wonder what he did. He probably dug straight down. Everyone knows that's illegal in Minecraft. But Melon, while the officer's distracted, let's steal this car! Come on, come on! Wait, this isn't your car? I thought this yellow car was yours! No, but it is now. Melon, it's like we're already moving up in the world. We have our own car. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, our, our car, our our car. The car that belongs to us. Yep. And we made it, Melon. It's time for us to apply for some new jobs. Yo. At Job Center Atlantic Street 3B. Let's do this thing, Sonny. I'm right behind you. Uh, this is a really weird looking villager. What the heck? Melon, this is the Job Goblin. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Otherwise known as the Joblin. Get it? Because he's a Job Goblin. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yo, Mr. Joblin, you got any jobs available for us? Hi, hi. Well, there's wonderful opportunities available. We have an opening for a rocket scientist. Uh, Melon, I don't think that's a good fit for us. Yeah, I, uh, I studied in a different field. You got any other jobs? Well, there's a few accounting positions available. <laughs> I wouldn't trust this guy with your books. He'll probably embezzle a few thousand diamonds. All right, well, how about brain surgery? You two strike me as doctors. No, no, can we get something like a lot simpler. Sorry. Well, there is a new pizza shop looking for delivery guys. Would you be interested? That's perfect. Okay. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. And these are the coordinates on this paper. Thank you so much, Joblin. We're gonna be employed, Sonny. Let's go. Why are you stabbing me? Because I'm just so happy, Sonny. We're finally gonna be employed. We've got a car. Things are turning around for us in life. True. We'll be rich in no time. Melon, step on it. We're gonna be late we're gonna be late okay i'm sorry i'm sorry dude it's our first morning on the job we can't afford to be late uh is it this one sonny yeah it's the queue it's the big queue pizza joint this one right here no, dude dude you you missed it you literally missed it just get out of the car sorry sorry hold on hold on hold on i'm coming back i'm coming back i'll be there in a second don't you worry wait don't run me over and i made it just in the nick of time melon we're 45 minutes late dang it that some would say that's fashionably late. Um, bro, this is Quandale's? Wait, Quandale runs a pizza joint? Yo, Quandale, what are you doing here? You getting some food or something? You didn't see the big queue outside? I'm sorry, Quandale. Like, listen, Sonny got up late and I was trying to wake him up, but he just kept sleeping. No, 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 no. Quandale, forgive me, please. I'm so sorry. I didn't have a choice. Melon was driving and he's super slow.
slow and he made us late. No, Sonny, Sonny was slept in. It's not my fault. You forgot to set the alarm clock. Anyways, Quandale, what are we doing today? Yeah, yeah, get into uniform and start your deliveries. They're in the shulker boxes behind in the kitchen. Sounds good, Quandale Dingle. I'll go suit up because I'm ready for my first big day on the job. Wait, it's Chef Dondale? No way. Dondale the Wise is a blind man, but apparently a phenomenal chef. Yeah, dude, you never had his cooking. It's deliciosos. And look, Sonny, our uniform. Oh, this is not our uniform. Sorry. They're right here, bro. I'm grabbing my delivery gear. Yo, everyone looks better in red. That's what I always say. Ew, why is it gotta be a red uniform? I still do look pretty schnazzy, though. Sonny, you look like ketchup and mustard. Now, let's grab our pizzas and get to delivering. Wait, you're delivering pizza? I got a cheeseburger and frites. Oh, well, uh, I think they'll really notice if I just like... No, Mallet, don't eat the customer's food. No, no, they won't notice. It's just one slice, dude. It's just one slice. Whatever, bro. I'm getting on my scooter and I'm making my deliveries. Scoot! Ooh, we even get our own scooters. This is awesome. Let me double check the address. Yep, it looks like my first customer should be right here. Hello? Oh, Mr. Blaze, it's you. So good to see you again. You're such a loyal customer of Quandale's fast food and pizza. I've got your order right here. One large fries. Yeah, you enjoy those. Extra crispy. And according to my navigation, the next house is actually just right here. Although, it came with a little warning. This customer is known to be slightly explosive at times. Hello? Uh, yeah. Mr. Creeper, I've got your order right here. One cheeseburger with extra green lettuce. <laughs> That could have been bad. That could have been bad. I hope you enjoy the meal. All right. According to the address, it should be right about here. Oh, this is a crazy huge mansion. You really think they wouldn't be eating fast food? Oh, they look really scary too. They have a demon head hung up. Oh, I'm a little intimidated. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I? Uh, hello, Mr. Chicken. Give me my friggin' pizza now. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, that chicken was intimidating. My next customer should just be up this hill into the left. Should be right about here. What's that weird sound? What? My next customer is a salmon? Uh, here's your pizza, dude. You should probably get some water. You might drown. Uh, well, have a good day. These customers have been awfully strange. And also, why are all these deliveries to an extremely rich neighborhood? It's kind of confusing. See you later, Fox Smella. No, no, no. I'm gonna get back to Quandale's first. I'm the number one employee. We'll see about that one, Sonny. Eat my dust, Sonny. And I've made it. And Quandale, Quandale, I got back first. I just delivered to my customers. They're so happy. I'm the best employee. No, no, Quandale, I came back first. Wait, Quandale, come to think of it, I never got paid from my customers. Oh, don't worry about it. They paid online. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I left your payments in the shulker boxes. I even put a little extra in there for your outstanding hard work today. Oh, Quandale, thank you so much. Oh my god, Sonny, do you see this? 64 diamonds. We're freaking rich. We're freaking rich. Let's go. This is the best job ever. Thank you, Quandale. We'll be back on time. First thing tomorrow. Sonny, get in our car. Do you think we should go pay for this car now? Uh, absolutely not, Sonny. The rich stay rich by being cheap. Eh, hey, good idea. Should we steal from more people and get more rich? Uh, well, let's like not push our luck too much, Sonny. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I'm so excited for work tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, hello there, Mr. Blaze. I see you, Jeff cooling off a little bit. Uh, I got your order right here. A slice of pepperoni pizza and some saucy fries. Yeah, you enjoy your totally not illegal circular hot tub. I don't know how he's done this, guys. This is so sketch. There shouldn't be circles in Minecraft. Okay, this seems like the right place. Uh, yo, this parrot is whack. Uh, so where's the guy that ordered the cheese? It was me who ordered the cheese, you dummy. Okay, sorry, sorry. My bad. Take it. Hello, customer number two. Ah, what is wrong? I mean, you look perfect. Perfectly cursed. Anyways, here's your food. Uh, uh, gotta go. Gotta go. Why did that look like a giant chicken combined with a turtle? That was so weird. You guys worked extra hard today. I gave you another bonus for the great work you two put in. Thanks, Quandale. What? 32 emerald blocks? Sonny, where, where, 
We're actually rich. We could live anywhere we want, drive anything we want, and be anybody we want to be. This is crazy. Quandil, why are you paying us so much? I have a really great operation going here, and it's all thanks to you guys, so I'm being more generous. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Thank you, Quandale. You're so kind and generous and awesome. Okay, Melon, let's get out of here before he changes his mind. Let's dip! By the way, I'm tired of living in that dark and dingy apartment. Don't you think it's time we buy something new, bigger, and more grand? I think you're right, Sonny. It's time to live in the green top. No, what? No, we're not getting a green top. Oh, yeah. Let's upgrade our apartment. Yeah, we're gonna get a mansion. A luxury penthouse suite. Dude, this new apartment is insane. It's so awesome. It cost all of our diamonds and emeralds, but it was so worth it. Check out the TV. Sonny, and we each get our own rooms? This is awesome. No way. There's a balcony. Look at the view. It's so gorgeous. Ah! And now I get the apartment all to myself. Ah, another day at the office making millions of emeralds. Wait a second. Closed for tax evasion? Quad is this what you were up to? Bro, our job was so good, Melon. What are we gonna do now? Dude, I knew it was too good to be true. No one gets paid that much for delivering pizzas. How are we gonna afford our bills? That condo, it wasn't cheap. Ugh, I don't know, Sonny. Maybe Chef Dondale has an idea. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go see if he's out back. Dondale, Dondale, he is. He's crying. Dondale, I'm so sorry. You've lost your job and everything you care about? Dondale, don't worry. You're still a chef. Sonny, maybe if we sell the apartment, we can open up our own fast food chain. Yeah, Dondale, would you come work for us if we had our own fancy restaurant? And by fancy restaurant, I mean Greasy Spoon. Yes, you would? If you two do buy a restaurant, we will need a kitchen. Yeah, Dondale, don't you worry about that. You just sit out here, kick back and relax. We'll handle the new restaurant. And uh, don't open these doors, whatever you do. Okay, Melon, let's take all of Quandale's stuff. He won't need it anymore. Let's take it all, buddy. Yes, Melon. We've looted the entire kitchen. All that's left to do is go sell our condo and buy a new restaurant. Let's do this thing. Dondale, we'll send you the address tomorrow morning. Don't you worry, Dondale. Don't be late. Yeah, you know what that means. I'm gonna shave your beard if you're late. <laughs> I can't believe we're already selling it. Well, I might as well get one last good night's sleep in the melon bed. Good night, bro. I just hope the place sells quick so we can start our new restaurant. <laughs> It's already sold. It's like we just moved in and now we're already gone. Yeah. Well, Sonny, at least we can buy our new restaurant. Let's do it. Sonny, this is our new restaurant. Mine Donald's. Wait, where do you see Mine Donald's? That's the name of it. We agreed that's going to be the name because it's Minecraft McDonald's. Mine Donald's. Well, I didn't agree to it, but I like it, Sonny. And I also have one final block of emerald. Why would you put it in the middle of the road? Uh, do you have a pickaxe by any chance? No, I don't. Well, Sonny, I have no more blocks of emerald. We are officially broke, but at least we have the new fast food joint. I'm coming on in. Hey, Dondale, here bright and early. Oh, wow, you do. I like that. Dedication to the job. Well, you guys have to live here too, right? I mean, you don't have a home anymore. Oh, wait, you're right. We have to live here. We sold our apartment. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Dude, I don't even have my red-themed bed. All we have are these old poop beds. Whatever. Sonny, we gotta start making money and we have one huge problem i've noticed what's that we got no furniture you're right how are we ever gonna have customers come and sit down and enjoy the restaurant when there's no chairs or tables melon we're gonna have to make a few deliveries to save up money let's do this this looks like the address it's time to make our restaurant's very first delivery do, 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 do. ow ow what the heck what is wrong with you i'm just here to deliver your hot dog i don't want to pay give me my food ow Chill! Chill! Sonny! Sonny! You gotta be careful! What's wrong, bro? I've got a big delivery to make! Dude, deliveries are more dangerous than you think. Some of them are not happy customers. You're gonna need this to defend yourself. Oh, thank you, Melon. Alright, well, according to my GPS, the next address should be right in here. Hello! Good luck, Sonny! Hello! 
I got your food here. Fries, cheeseburger. Hey, chill. What is your problem? Mel, you're right. These people are crazy. Sonny, kill him and take his money. Just pick in his pockets? Yo, that guy was rich. Mel, check it out. 64 diamond blocks. What the heck? This is way more than Quandale ever paid us. Well, duh. Quandale owned the restaurant, so he must have been getting paid even more than he paid us. Dude, you know what we can do with this? Buy some furniture. Let's do it. Yo, Sonny, did you get the furniture? Yeah, bro, the delivery's right here. I got some chairs, some more chairs, and some tables. This is awesome, bro. We're gonna have the most epic restaurant in all of Minecraft. That's right. Check it out. I got the red bench, then I got the gray bench. This table's ready for service. Oh, I gotta grab myself some classic teas. What are these ones? Oh, decorations. But of course, it's not a fine restaurant without a little bit of decor. Yes, but of course, Sonny, but of course. This is a premium bathroom stall. I'm gonna make the U table. Sonny, my tables are more inventive than anyone's. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I'm proud. You're an idiot. And then check this one out. Check this one out, Sonny. What are you doing? You realize you have enough table room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. But there's only two chairs. Uh, yeah, well, it's more cozy this way. Melon, this one doesn't even have a table. <sighs> yeah, what about this? Hey, 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 stop it. Boom. Yep, I'm a genius. What do you think? These people have the world's tallest butts. You think they'll be able to sit down and reach that? Sonny, this table is floating. I'm telling you, people are gonna love it. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Sonny, what were you saying about my table? I don't understand. Why is the floating table the most popular in our restaurant? We have no other clientele except the floating table people. Melon, do you have any idea what you've done? Uh, created the most marketable and greatest fast food chain of all time? Pretty much, bro. You're a genius. All these villagers, they keep talking about table, table, table. Sonny, you're not gonna believe how much money we pulled in. Check this out. Follow me. Yo, we even have our first employee. Yeah, we pretty much don't have to do much anymore, Sonny. Check this out. This storage room is filled to the brim with diamonds. Wait a second. You're telling me we're rich? Yeah, Sonny. And we don't have to work anymore. This is awesome. We got Chef Quandale on the grill, and we've got our first Mind Donald's employee. You work hard, Steve. You work hard! Oh, Sonny, this place is beautiful. I'm so happy we acquired the entire building. Yes, yeah, same here. We're so rich and affluent now after we created our very first fast food restaurant. Nothing could have ever gone quite as well. Yes, yeah, so, Sonny, join me in the dining hall on the penthouse suite on the top floor. Yes, but of course, Mr. Melon, let's have a proper sit-down chat and discuss our numbers. So, Melon, uh, stocks and bonds, uh, numbers are up, numbers are up, looking good. These villagers are quite annoying me, Sonny. Hold on, let me just snap my fingers. Oh, yes, Melon. Well done, well done, sir. Mm, the silence is quite beautiful. Now, where were we? Uh, 1,000 slices of pizza per minute selling. Yes, that's pretty good. Uh, what are the hot dog numbers looking like right now? Uh, we're currently processing 30,000 wieners a second on the floating table. That's not too bad. How about those buns? Mm, the buns? The buns, Melon! I don't know! The buns is in my department! That's dog nails! It was your department the buns. I'm in charge of the ketchup, the mustard, and the pizza! Excuse me, Mr. Sonny, but I have something quite important to share. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, not a problem, Alfred. Uh, Melon, just give me a moment. I have to have a word with my butler. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, Alfred, what is it? Is it that thing we talked about earlier with the police? Yes, Mr. Sonny, they are on to you. It seems that following Quandale's steps hasn't worked out very well for you, has it? Well, I didn't know how to pay my taxes. I'm just concerned, Mr. Sonny, as I've heard rumors that the police are going to visit your mind Donald's location first thing in the morning. Alfred, I appreciate the notice and heads up. Now just play it cool like nothing happened, okay? Nothing happened. Ah, Melon, yeah, where were we? Uh, buns, hot dogs, mustard, ketchup. Yep, all that sounds good. Uh, I've got some urgent business to handle in the, uh, in the tropics. So why don't you continue to hold down the fort? I'll see you at the office tomorrow, back at the restaurant. Sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow, Sonny. Okay, yes. Goodbye, my dear friend, Melon. Goodbye. Guys, I gotta get out of here. Quickly! Fly! 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 Yes!
Yes! Yeah, I'm not coming back to this city. I'm going on a vacation, and I'm taking all my riches with me. I just hope Melon's not too upset when he finds out. Um, why are the police here? Hello, officer, what's going on? Sir, are you aware that this business violated the Floating Table Act of 1977, Section 5A? It is illegal to install floating tables in fast food establishments due to risk of injury. Also, according to the tax files, this booming fast food place reported zero dollars of profit last year. Oh, uh, what? Come to think of it, aren't you? Melon, one of the co-founders of Mind Donald's? Uh, yeah, but I paid all my taxes. That doesn't matter. There's still a warrant out for your arrest, and you need to come with me to the police station. No, no, please, no! Are you kidding me? Quandale, you're here too? Yeah, I got arrested for tax evasion. The heck, I gotta call Sonny. Uh, Sonny, what's going on? I'm in jail right now because you didn't pay taxes. Uh, yeah, Melon, I'm sorry. Uh, about that... I'm here in the Madagascar Jungle Resort, Pavilion Premium, and I don't think I'm gonna return to work anytime soon. You scumbag, Sonny! Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Mel, sorry, Mel, Mel, what was that? I can't hear you. Say it again. I'm losing you. Sonny, why did you tell me? No, Mel, Mel, the signal, the signal. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, yeah, good luck. Love you, and uh, yeah, have fun. Uh, sorry, can't hear you. Can't hear you. Oh, this resort's awesome. Oh, you love it. Sorry, can't signal by uh, that scumbag. Well, time for me to enjoy my vacation forever! <laughs>